I am here with Caroline Monroe and Carol Ashby, two icons of the Bond era. I have a couple of questions for each of you, if you don't mind. Caroline, if I could start with you, are you still friends with George Lazenby? Oh. Um, I'm sure I would be, yes. Oh, really? Absolutely. Yes, no, definitely. So I think the question that I want to ask is, how do you feel Bond girls have changed over the years? What does it mean to be a Bond girl? I think, I mean, even from the very beginning, I think the Bond women were amazing. But I think they've evolved so, so much now. The last, what, 20 years, I would say? They started to sort of come into their own, and they're, they're just amazing. They're really strong, powerful, and the... Um, the scripts are written that, 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 that encourage that, too. And I, I think especially the last one, the, Daniel Craig's last one, I mean, I think the two women in that uh, were just extraordinary. They, they really were. Gosh, they were exceptional, they weren't were they? 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 But they're all iconic in their own way. Three, women, yeah, they're, three, they're, yeah. three main women, weren't they? Absolutely. Yes, they're all iconic in their own way. Totally. And every woman is different, and I like that. Every Bond woman. And they're all amazing. They're all here today, and, yeah. and they're all... I'm watching what's going on, yeah. Oh, they're yes, they're yeah. going to come oh, next, And it's you know. very warm, actually, hence the fans. I know. <laughs> Just come look at this way. Have a little fan. Wonderful. Oh, nice. And Carol Ashby, now you were in a couple of Bond films and yes. had the pleasure of returning. How does it feel to be asked back? Uh, well, it was actually fantastic. I, I come back off a world tour promoting uh, Octopussy, the first one I did, and uh, I was uh, being in Parsons Green in a house, and I was doing the, uh, the laundry, and cleaning the cat litter out. Very and awesome. and, I, and I kept thinking, what happened to my life? I've finished it all, it's all over now. And the phone went and uh, it was John. I said, John, John, John Glenn. I said, Carol, just a quick, quick question. I'm at Pinewood now. I said, do you have big tits and can you whistle? Ooh. And I said, well, that, what? A bit random. He said, no, we're just casting again. I mean, thought, should we bring you back? And I went, oh God, you're joking. And I said, I'd love that. So, well, there's a girl called Papillon. She's a nightclub entertainer. An illusionist, and she whistles. I said, well, I, I can't whistle. And I've got medium-sized boobs. They said, oh, don't worry, we'll dub you and we can stuff it a bit, so it'll be fine. <laughs> and that was, I came back for View to a Kill, playing Papillon on the top of the Eiffel Tower. So that was very, I was very lucky with the it's two such... Bond films. Absolutely. It's a huge night for John Glenn this evening yeah. as well. We're all here to honour his legacy. What do you feel he's brought to the franchise? I'll ask that to both of you. Oh, my goodness. He's, he's well, just an amazing... Five films down the line. Yeah, I mean, you know, so I mean... say, yes, he was, he was our, our... He was... We had Lewis Gilbert, main director, and then John Glenn was our second, you know, doing, doing everything, setting all the cameras. I think he had about five or six cameras. When we did the first scene, which was the opening scene where Bond, Roger leaps over the, um, then the, and the Union Jack appears. So John was in, in charge of all the cameras, which but, is... But John story. was was very much action-adventure, that's why he was brought in yes. to the Bond films, but also he came from the background of editing. And all the best, I think, the best uh, directors were editors originally, because they're editors, they go along, you know. And True. so the, the Hugh Hudson's <laughs> and the Alan Parkers all came from advertising and editing, and that's John. And he wrote an awful lot, I mean, f you know, five movies later. <sighs> So we're honouring him tonight, and I can't think of a better man to honour. Great That's director. Great director. Love, and a wonderful man. And a we sweet love him. Man, we love so him. So elegant and just yeah. never changing. No, he's right. Easy to work calm. with. Easy to work very with. Very easy. Yeah, yes. it makes life very much better when you're Fantastic. on set or a bit yes. nervous or whatever, yes. you know? Wonderful. Yeah. Well, it's said to be a wonderful night. Thank you so much for having a little interview with Pleasure. me. And Good I'll to be see here. You. I'll see you later. Great, lovely. Thank see you. Thank you so much. Bye. So we are here with the inimitable Martine Beswick herself from Thunderball and from Russia with love. Darling, you have such an iconic legacy in the franchise. I have to ask, how does it feel being asked back for not one, but two James Bond films? Thrilling. Loved it. I mean, and I had to do all with um, Terence Young, my darling friend. I loved him. He was determined to have me. I mean, he fought for me. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, we, were, we were really good friends. So when you came onto the production, did you feel you kind of had him by your side? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, 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 yes. There was a, there was a group, I mean, it was sort of Sean, Terence. There was a sort of group apart from the others, and we just had a lovely time. It sounds exquisite. Were you aware of just how iconic that fight scene would be between you and the other girl in From Russia With Love? 
I was not aware how iconic the whole Bond thing was going to be. And it's really because I've basically what I said, I said to the, my other, my girls, I said, <clears throat> excuse me, I mean, this is a gift that keeps on giving. I mean, it is never ending. And what is wonderful, what is really wonderful is that we definitely, the Bond girls have a serious bond because we've experienced filming in that way. So it's a, yeah, it's a really fantastic. And when every time we meet each other, it's like, oh my God, how divine to see you. That's wonderful. So there's a community of Bond oh, girl yes, actresses. Yes. Can I join? Oh, we would love to have you. Well, thank you very much. That's all I wanted to hear this evening. <laughs> Speaking of this evening, tonight is all about celebrating the legacy of the iconic John Glenn and mm. everything he's brought to the franchise. What are you most looking forward to this evening? There's so much going on. Uh, just being with everybody. Really, just being with everybody. I mean, I, first of all, I mean, Philip. <laughs> he just said to me, he just said, you know you said don't? I said, yeah, no. Oh. <laughs> Listen, well, listen, everyone's dressed up to the nines this I evening, just, aren't they? Everybody looks fantastic. Oops. Everybody looks fantastic. Everyone looks gorgeous. Yes. Really gorgeous. I mean, and, and every time I go up to someone, I go, oh, my God, you're looking so gorgeous. Everyone. The guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's the a good-looking corner over there. The everyone, is the, including yourself. Oh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Goodness me. Yeah. Butter me up. Well, what is it, do you think, about James Bond that makes him such a, an iconic character even decades on from his original conception? Um, well, for me, the, one of the things that I loved about James Bond was the fact that it was, he was very naughty and he was a killer. And he also, there was a lot of wit involved and I love that and a lot of um, there was humor and unfortunately as it got you know further down the line the humor kind of got less and I'm really I really want to see more of that in the next in the next and who's going to be next who's going to be next I have my favorite who's your favorite but I don't think he's going to make it I don't know maybe he will Henry Cavill Oh, wouldn't that be amazing? Oh, he was because he was such a baddie in the Mission Impossible. He was brilliant, absolutely. But I thought he would be fantastic. He really would. Yeah, he but really I don't would. know. You know, I mean, they may they may come up with someone completely different. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what do you think the next Bond girl? What advice would you give to the next actress who might may play a Bond girl in the future? Be a Bond girl, darling. I mean, don't be a Bond woman or a Bond lady. Be a Bond girl. Sorry, nothing else. I mean, this Bond woman, Bond girl. Yeah, please, Bond girl. You think We're it's Bond empowering, girls. Bond girl? Yes, of course we are. Of course. I hear Bond girls are forever, would you agree? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for being here this evening. I'm looking forward to partying with you later. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to follow the club on social media across all of our channels and become a member, if you haven't already, to become a double O.